It's Lana from Lana Under Pressure. That's my blog where I convert my family's recipes, especially my family's Cuban and Jewish recipes, for the Instapot and the Instant Vortex Plus. And today I'm going to be doing an Instant Pot recipe called Picadillo, which is Cuban ground beef dish. And it's very versatile. You can do it with ground beef or ground turkey. And it's great over rice, over pasta, or even in empanadas. So to get started, first we're going to saute our ground beef and our onions. And the way you're going to do that on the Instant Pot is you're just going to press the saute button and it'll go ahead and start. Now one tip is you can adjust the temperature at which it sautés just by pressing the adjust button and it'll cycle through low, normal, or high. I have it on normal and that's perfect. So inside here we have the two tablespoons of vegetable oil and we're going to wait for that to get hot before we add the ingredients. All right. Now the display reads hot so we can add our ingredients. So first we're going to add one pound of ground beef or ground turkey and we're going to go ahead and break that up. Now a good tip is to use an alligator clip right on the edge to keep the liner from spinning. Once we add the ground beef, now we're going to add one yellow onion and one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper and mix that up. Now as you're mixing you want to go ahead and break up the ground beef uh, as much as you can and I like using a wooden flat spatula that does a really good job. Now you're just going to let that saute until uh, there's no pink color in the meat and occasionally stir it and as you're stirring you want to use your spatula to scrape up the bottom as well. Okay so now uh, there's no more pink color in the ground beef and so now I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic. Okay and I'm just going to mix that in and I'm going to let that saute for 30 seconds and you don't want to saute it too long or else it'll burn. And every time that I'm stirring I'm making sure to scrape the bottom of the pot because if there's anything on the bottom of the pot stuck any brown bits, that's what will cause the Instapot to get a burn notice. So always scrape it. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Instant Pot and I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of cumin. Now if you like cumin, you can add a little bit more, you can add a little bit less. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of ground powdered garlic. And I'm going to mix that in. Now I'm going to add an eighth a cup of chopped olives. If you don't like olives, you can leave it out. I don't really like olives, but when they're chopped up like this, you don't taste it as much, and it just adds a little bit of flavor. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of the brine, and I'm going to add a four-ounce jar of diced pimentos with the liquid. And stir that in. Now I'm going to add the liquid. And the liquid that I'm going to add first is an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. Add that straight in. Now, a trick that my grandmother showed me is to get all of the tomato sauce out of the can. You're going to add your other liquids to the can. So this is a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of white wine. And then you can mix that to get the rest of the sauce out of the can and add that to the pot. So now all the ingredients are inside. I'm just going to remove that alligator clip and I'm going to put the lid onto the Instant Pot. I'm going to make sure that the valve is set to sealed and I'm going to cook this on high pressure for 15 minutes. And this is a smart pot so I'm going to press manual and that's high pressure. And I'm going to use the minus button to bring it down to 15 minutes. And I'm going to let it go and it'll start by itself. Now, you can find all of these ingredients. I'll have a link in the description below for my blog so you can print them out. Now that it's natural pressure released for 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and release the rest of the pressure so we can open the top. And you're just going to go ahead and take the valve and turn it towards venting and just let the rest of the pressure out. So now that it's done and the little silver pin has gone down, you can open the pot.
Okay. And we're just gonna stir. Now, the picadillo is ready to eat as is, but I like to go ahead and reduce the sauce some. And you can use this trick in any recipe that you'd like to reduce the sauce if it's a little liquidy or you'd like it a little thicker. And how you do that is we're gonna turn the pot off and then we're gonna click saute and we're gonna adjust it to high or more. And then we're gonna let it saute and that'll start bubbling the sauce and evaporate some of the extra liquid out. And that'll make the sauce thicker. So now it's sauteed, you let it saute for about five to 10 minutes if you wanna thicken the sauce. And after that, you're just gonna taste it and add a little salt or pepper if you think it needs it. But it's perfectly done after that and you can serve it traditionally uh, in Cuban cuisine, we serve it over white rice, but you can also serve it over pasta, or you can let it cool and add it as a filling for an empanada. It's fantastic. So just stir it up before serving, and it's perfect. Thank you.